During the early to mid-1960s, a group of teenagers became regular visitors to the small town. They would go on to become four of South Africa's greatest ever surfers. Donald Parman represented South Africa at three consecutive World Championship events. He, along with brother Jonathan, a real standout at Supertubes and a true legend of the sport, first visited J-Bay in 1965, while Gavin Rudolph, regarded in some quarters to be the first to venture out at Supertubes, went on to become the World Pro-Am champion in 1971. The fourth member of the group, the nuggety Rhodesian-born Piers Pittard, also a fearless big wave rider, earned the title of Mr. J-Bay at the height of his career in the mid-1970s. Yeah, when we first got here, yeah, didn't surf anywhere up here at Supers or anything. We all sat down at the point there and met all the guys from PE. We stayed here for a week. And uh, we thought we had it to ourselves, and as soon as the west started blowing, all of a sudden, like cockroaches, the mob came from P, Gavin, and Mushhide, and late Buddha Horn, and those guys came out and got to know them and had a jaw, just surfing the point and tubes. There was nothing here. It was just a paradise to go camp out and surf and live in the bush. But nobody lived here until 1970. Odd. There wasn't any accommodation, there wasn't any ablutions anywhere. A couple of Australians pulled in and lived like burgies on the dunes. We pulled in and stayed in our combis and, you know, wherever we could, we did what we could, but you could put up with any discomfort in the surf school. Riding shotgun in the sky 